Hi, this is Alex from phpacademy.org with another video for the new Boston. Now, we've already looked at uh, setting uh, PHP sessions and why they're useful. However, if we wanted to unset a session for any reason, uh, or unset a particular session, or unset all sessions, we need a way to do this. And there's a couple of ways that you can do this, either by unsetting um, an individual session. You might not want to end all your sessions, but we can, uh, we've can. we got a function called unset that's gonna unset um, a particular session that we specify. Or you can use another function called session destroy, which will unset all the sessions related to that user and your server. So in this uh, set.php file, we've already started up our session and we've, um, and we've set a session called username to the value of Alex and in the view we're checking for this now I'm going to create a new file and I'm going to call this um, unset.php now this might be a logout file you might be logging your users out we've already spoken about why sessions might be useful for login systems we might be even clearing uh, the total of a user's uh, basket or uh, deleting items from a user's basket. So just imagine this is a logout page. Now you may, um, for example, want to unset a particular session. Now to do this, you want to use um, unset. Now you can see that the uh, the session is called session, uh, or it's called username. So I'm going to unset dollar underscore session username. Now there's a fundamental mistake I've made in this file on purpose just so you can see why. Now let's go ahead and set this. I'm going to go back and I'm going to click on view and you can see that it's welcoming me here so we've already looked at this example. Now if I'm to click on unset.php and then go back and then click on view again you can see that it still says welcome Alex. Now why is this the case when we've used this unset feature or this function to unset this username and the simple answer is I've actually purposely forgotten to put session star. So even though you're unsetting sessions you still need to declare this function or call this function in order to unset your sessions and it will be the same for the other example I'm going to show you in just a moment. So let's go back and click set just to make sure that's definitely set. Click on view and it says welcome Alex. So now let's go back and click on unset. Now this time we should have succeeded in unsetting that session. So if we click on view it now says please log in. So you may come across in your programs when you're using this, oh the, the session's not unsetting, you know why is this? This might be a question in your mind, why isn't it working, it's, it's frustrating frustrating you the answer is always check that you've correctly started your sessions up before you try to unset them now what if I want to have a couple of sessions that I want to um, I want to uh, um, unset so I, I want to unset more than one session in fact all the sessions that exist so I'm gonna make a few changes to this program um, under set I'm gonna set another session and this is going to be called age and I'm going to set this equal to 21. Now on view we're going to say if is set session username and dollar underscore oh no remember our another another is set function in there so we're checking that both these sessions exist and then we're saying welcome to the username and then we're going to say you are and then we're going to specify my age just by um, calling that in there or, or concatenating that so now what's the result we're going to achieve um, if we come and reset our sessions um, we come back and click view welcome Alex you are 21 so we've used two different sessions now now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click unset um, I'm going to go back again and click on view in fact this is a bad example because we are checking for both of these let's just get rid of that there okay so now if I refresh you can see welcome and then a comma and then a full stop because just one of the sessions is missing remember in this unset file we're only unsetting the username so let's just reset everything again just so we can uh, view the example of unsetting all of them click view so now this is being displayed correctly now what happens if I want to unset all sessions so I'm gonna get rid of this line and I'm simply gonna type session underscore destroy now what this command here is going to do when we call this function we are unsetting all sessions that are currently that currently exist so 
not for all users across your website but just between the connection me and the server so now what I can do is I'm going to refresh again just so you can see that the data is still there now I'm going to click unset I'm going to go back again I'm going to click view and we've removed both the session data so we've removed my name and my age so that's basically um, unsetting session data in PHP